Pretty. Goeienavond, broeders en sisters, familielede, kennisse en die wat ons graag wil ken. Baie, baie welkom by Presta Primary School. This is our school to the east of Pretoria. This is a Seventh-day Adventist school where Christ is the most important in our lives. Of course, Bible study is the first subject that we teach every morning. Ons kinders, na lockdown, eet in die klas, bid was laienkies en ons is baie gesteld op al die COVID-19 reels wat toegepas moet word. Yes, at our school, our learners and their future are the most important subject in our lives. Our school is beautiful, big grounds, beautiful buildings and we have got fresh water, electricity, and everything that we might need for God to help us to do our best in everything. A teacher is a special person in the sight of God. Ja, in sy woord roep hy onderwijsers speciaal om hom te dien. So for me, to be the principal of Presta Primary School is an absolute privilege and honor to serve God in this capacity. May God lead us, keep us and guide us for the future until the day that we hear the trumpet sound. We will listen to the theme song of this week of prayer. May God bless you and keep you as you also want to sit close to his feet. Thank you.
I am Juliet Robinson. It is my privilege to be the principal of Presto School in Pretoria. We have learners from grade R to grade 7. Integration of faith and learning is our mission. Our teachers are dedicated and know that they do not only serve the school, but that Christ has called them to be an educator. It is our vision and our mission to introduce God as part of every child's life at this school. Good evening all. As we commence the program, I'd like to invite you to open with a word of prayer with us. Close your eyes. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening that you've given us. Thank you for bringing us safely home. There are some who weren't able to make it home for whatever reasons. All we know is that we are grateful that you have brought us so that we can come before you this evening. Thank you for your love and for your kindness. And we pray in a special way that you might speak to our hearts and that whatever it is that you have for us this evening, that it may dwell, that it may remain, and that it may change our lives. As I pray in your name. Amen. John 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that he ever believed in me, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm. Philippians 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So oh. 
provide my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19
of the soul with God. Step 12. What to do with doubt? He bids us taste and see that the Lord is good. Step 13, rejoicing in the Lord. Thank God for the bright pictures that he has presented to us. Philippians 4 verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer. John 14, verse 6. Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But those who trust in the Lord for help will find their strength renewed. They will rise on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow weak. John 14, verse 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and receive thee unto myself, that where I am, you may be also. Let's talk about Jesus, the King of kings is He, the Lord of Lords supreme through all eternity. The great I am, the way, the truth, the light, the door. Let's talk about 
Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the seas, He made the seas, He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Sitting at the feet of Jesus gives us strength. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not for I am with you. Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I am with you. I will help you. Psalms 40 verse 2. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Jeremiah 20, verse 11. But the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. Uh, Isaiah 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not, dis do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Psalms 55, verse 22. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. Psalms 30, 18, verse 32. It is God who who arms me and will with with strength and make and makes my way perfect. He he makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on the heart. God protects us. God guides us. God loves us. God provides for us. God empowers us. God gives us vision. God strengthens us. Sitting at the feet of Jesus gives us strength. Kanya, 
Was I la pomosa cousin lion? Was I now shadows as we go go kanya? Chesu go kanya was we jalo. Perseverance that allows God to take our muddled, muddled messes and turn them into miracles. You enlarge my steps under me, and I have not slept. Psalms 18, verse 38. You set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Psalms 40, verse 2. Isaiah 26, verse 4. Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is eternal rock. John. John 8 verse 12, when Jesus spoke to, spoke to the people again and said, I am the light of the world, whoever follows me will never fall in darkness, but will have light of life. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13, watch, stand firm in the faith, be strong, be bold. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 1, I will walk by faith even when I cannot see. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 12, walk Walk into the walk with a worthy to him who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Sometimes we need to take a break, a break from our to do list, a break from our meetings, and a break from all the noise of the world, and sit quietly at the feet of Jesus. In him we will find rest. It's really hard for me to love everyone. Sometimes my language isn't that clean. I'm not a perfect Christian. I am impatient. I always want to do things my way. I can be selfish. I fall, I fail, and I falter. Sometimes I forget to be a servant. But when I stop to think about it and take a step back, I remember how amazing life truly is. And through all and through all my imperfect imperfections, God still loves me. The vision of Presley Primary School by competent and sympathetic teaching of the Seventh-day Adventist philosophy. We strive to restore the image of God in a contemporary environment. From my understanding of the vision statement of Presta Primary School, the teachers strive to restore the image of God in us so that we will be able to spread it out into this contemporary environment. The mission of Presta Primary School is to provide a Christ-centered education and to lead learners to knowledge, dexterity, and service. From my understanding of the mission statement of Presta Primary School is that the teachers want to teach us in a Christ-centered education. If we were to start a subject, we cannot do it without praying first. And if we were to end the subject, we couldn't do it without praying first. So meaning that with the knowledge of God, we will spread it out to this environment. And if we apply the vision and mission statement in our lives, then we'll be in a true place of empowerment. As you have heard from the presentations that have been done, the main focus was on the theme, sitting at the feet of Jesus. In this world, the highest position is sitting at the feet of Jesus. To add on to that, I'll be reading from the book of Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. It reads as follows. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. 
So while the theme for today was sitting at the feet of Jesus, we Presta decided to focus on the theme, a place of empowerment. The world teaches us many ways to be empowered, but we can truly be empowered if we sit at the feet of Jesus. Let us pray. Please, dear Lord, bless the school. We need your help and your love in order that all of us may live together in happiness. May the Holy Spirit be with us, protect us, and fill us with understanding. Amen. Amen.